One of my favorite movies is Departed by Martin Scorsese, a police thriller where the characters play a cat and mouse game with each other. It won four Oscars, but did you know it was actually a remake of a thriller from Hong Kong? Remakes is not a new thing. Hollywood has always been importing stars and movies from around the world, especially Europe. One of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Charlie Chaplin, was born in London, but left for America to achieve success. And even today, a lot of movies clearly are inspired by the German Expressionism from 100 years ago. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why are Hollywood making remakes? I mean, why not? If they saw something working in another country or like 50 years ago, yeah. I understand why they do it. I mean, my generation, I wouldn't go 50, 60, 70 years back to watch a movie. So I think it's a good thing that they do that. Yeah, I agree. And I think also, like, it's very seldom that you see a remake that is 100% a remake. Mm -hmm. Like, First, they might yeah. change a little bit here and there. Or like individual touch. To yeah. This. Yeah, no, I don't really have a problem with it. And I think one benefit from it is that Hollywood movies tends to have bigger budget as well. Yeah, so yeah. it might be a little more expensive and a little, yeah. More action. Yeah, yeah. sometimes, you know, <laughs> I don't know. And I think very often as well, they, they do their own little tweaks. And so they do add a little bit of their own sort of artistic style or whatever yeah, it might yeah. be into it. Um, but yeah, of course, I mean, if you, if you see, see it working, as you said, like in the past, and obviously if it's a theme that speaks to people, then I don't really see a problem with remaking it. Next question. <laughs> is there a movie you would like to see remade? This is something I've thought about earlier, actually. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but the Norwegian movie, The Troll Hunters with Otto Jespersen. Maybe. Like, <laughs> this is this comedian who walks uh, as an actor into the woods and like hunts down big trolls. It's so typical Norwegian. Mm -hmm. And I know they made it with like um, American subtitles, but it would be so cool to see it made in America. Hmm. I don't really know. I know there's one movie, but I think they might actually already be planning to make a remake of it, but okay. it's not come out yet. It's a Swedish movie based on a Swedish novel, uh, and it's t uh, the title is The Hundred Year Old That Went Through the Window and Disappeared. Uh. I think that would be like the English title of it. That would be really cool, because uh, it's like, it's a little tragic, but it's still a comedy and it's, yeah, it has a lot of like good themes in it. Huh. Yeah. That's good. And you? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a lot of movies that could be remade. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I love like catastrophe movies. Uh, the Wave, uh, The Earthquake, uh, The North Sea. You know, those kind of movies. I would love to see that on a Hollywood budget. I remember in the movie Reservoir Dogs, how a unique set of characters all wearing suits and thinking it was really cool. It was the first time I'd seen someone who was not a businessman wear a suit, and it inspired me to buy my own first suit. So, how has American movies inspired you? Ooh, that's, that's like a big question. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure you can say that it's inspired me in that sense, but I think you can definitely, like obviously all movies we've seen growing up is mainly American. And so I've definitely seen movies and been like, oh, that, you know, those characters have a cool style or, um, you know, they speak in a cool way or whatever it might be. Um, and probably subconsciously, I guess you've been inspired or I have uh, been inspired um, without really probably thinking about it. Yeah, I think that what you said, like subconsciousness, uh, I think that works uh, in so many mysterious ways. Uh, and I also think that the American uh, movie culture has taught me a lot about what not to do. Like there's so many party movies. Uh, you have uh, American Pie, you have uh, 13 with the two 13 year old girls uh, trying out drugs, taking tattoos, doing piercings and stuff. And that movie came out when I was about 12 and that taught me like, that taught me what not to do. Uh, like don't go down that road. Um, but I also think the movies have inspired me, of course, in fashion, uh, in beauty. 
If we go back to like the 90s and the 2000s, you can see how we look like then. And of course, it's inspired by Britney Spears and all the pop stars. And you? Well, uh, subconsciously, I of course agree that we've been uh, affected by it. And, but I feel like uh, for me, it's inspired me to like do my own art and be like creative in a way that like makes me feel like it's okay to be like cool and like do something that's out of the ordinary and like think out of the box because that's what Americans do.